Hello, everyone. It is Friday, October 18th, 2013, week seven of Monterey County High School football. Tonight, the 0-5 Greenfield Bruins travel to King City to take on the 2-3 and Mustangs. Hello, everyone. I'm John Berlin, and with me is Dave Kellogg of the Herald. Good hey, evening, John. Welcome to tonight? King City and War Memorial Stadium. War Beautiful. Memorial, here we are. Thank you very much. Beautiful night here, the moon rising over the American flag during the... Uh, Pledge of, Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, the, the Star Spangled Star Banner Spangled had, Banner, uh, actually the singing of the Star Spangled Banner was yeah. uh, was very, uh, very uh, gripping, right? You see that the, nice. the full moon over the behind, the, nice. behind the flag. Yeah. And This is rural football. This is the uh, battle for South County supremacy. The two southernmost schools in the Central Coast section that extends from King City up to South San Francisco. Well, we have two uh, very interesting uh, mission trail athletic League teams, uh, King City at home with a two and three record. Of course, Greenfield, the Bruins, struggling at zero and five. But this is one of their rivalry games, the, the Greenfield King City game. And you know, uh, like I said, for dominance of the South County, I, I think both coaches would tell you this has been kind of a disappointing season so far for them. But uh, to to beat your South County rival always picks up the season, no matter how the rest of it goes. Kicking for King City will be number 50, Carlos Martinez. Let's see who's uh, we got number seven receiving. But it's kicked short and picked up by the up man for Greenfield. Picked up by number 34, and that's a Jorge Rojas for the Bruins. So they'll start over, start the ball. First possession, first and ten. Let's see where they mark the ball. We have a, a low vantage point, so we'll be kind of Checking with our monitor, it looks like a 25 yard. Rudy Amezgua will be starting quarterback for the Greenfield Bruins. In the backfield should be Guillermo Gonzalez and Stefan Camacho. Let's see if uh, that's who's there. We do have number number one, Rudy Amezgua. This is our first game on natural turf, I think, John. Is that fact? I think there's a little right, delay. Officials of pulling things up. Okay, now a Mezbla under uh, center has it out. He is out wide, right? He's back to pass right away. Well, a little quarterback draw. Got a few yards to the left side there. Picked up some good yardage. Back to the 32 yard line. Pick up seven on the play. That's an interesting way to start the ball game. You spread them out and uh, hit with your quarterback right away. Yeah, very, very good. Uh, very good opening play. Well, they're only giving him three yards. <laughs> well, check that. Give him five yards in the play. So second down and five from the 30 for the Greenfield Bruins. Again, haven't won a game yet. So this is a big game for them to come out and see if they can't play error-free ball. You know, play fundamentally sound. Knowing that King City probably is a little bigger. Well, you know, Coach Ryan Bravo just has been talking about improvement, improvement every week. Well, here's a mess board. Going around the west side, a little fake handoff. The defense, the corner room going out the right. That's out of bounds. Close to the first down. Picked up about three in the play. Bring up a third down two. Thought he had a little more room there than he did, but uh, King City did a nice job of uh, spreading him out and running and using that sideline as another defender. Ball on the 30, 32 yard line would be. Third down and three. We've got to get past the 35. For <clears throat> a first down for the Bruins. Warm, pleasant night for football. Yeah, it has. No, uh, as we thought it was going to be a more windy and a little chillier, but it's kind of a little. It has that Santa Ana warmer feel. Ah, it's so, coming from the Southern California boy. Boy, shift. Look at that cylinder center. No backs in the backfield. Boy, he's going to have to run himself. Yeah, Here comes a mess around again. the left side. So if you can't get that first down. You know, there was no option to pass on that. He just tucked that ball in and went. That's a yard short. It's like he's out, down at the 34. Exactly right. So he bring up fourth and one. Well, Coach Groff, I think he's going to risk it on the very first drive. Wow, oh, well. Ball right there at the 34-yard line. They look like they're, gonna, they're thinking about going for it there, Dave. It sure looks like it, doesn't it? I don't, I don't believe it. Okay. I don't see anybody back to punt. Well, well, you're you're on well. five, you take risks to and change the direction. Back change behind the him, Camacho and uh, Gonzalez behind him. 
Uh, oh. This wasn't, wasn't nothing. Yeah, first down. Quarterback keeper? Yep. Looks like he got across the 35. Boy, gutsy Paul in the first quarter. Ten minutes to go in the first quarter, and they go for it fourth down in their own 33 yard line, did you say? It's first down at the 36. Boy, big, big, yeah, gutsy play for right. Greenfield. So we've had four plays, and the mask was carried on all, each of them. Well, that's a that's a safe uh, safe way. Of, you know, just one transfer of the ball. You know, oh, hey, you're right. Good, 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 good fundamentally sound. Spread, spread again. Spread again. Risk management. You don't have, to have as many chances to lose. Okay, back to pass. And Mesba puts the ball. He's got a man. Looks like number three. Is that number five? Is that Gonzalez? Or? Forty. Oh, number forty. Number forty. Okay, now we have number forty, and that is David Ayala. With the catch for the Bruins. Yeah, picked up five. Get him across the 40 to the 41. That was a pretty safe pass, too, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, that's, and that's a smart pass. Mm -hmm. The short, very, you know, get him some confidence. Get the in some confidence. Don't, you know, let's see if they don't go for the home run. Go for those nice short 10 yards or less. Coach Berlin. Hey, strongly believes in conservative game plan. Oh, there nice we go. Nice handoff to the fullback. If that was number five. Okay, that would be uh, Gonzalez. Guillermo Gonzalez, the third. And he picked up a first down. All right, Greenfield, second first down on the drive. That big clutch fourth down conversion. Unbelievable. It's got to pick up up five, up. And we've also got uh, Andrew Sanchez in the backfield. In Washington goes Resendez. Oh. And who did they give it to? I don't think they gave it to anybody. I think the Mesco had Mesco to turn around again. and just dive into the... Hmm. I'm not sure if that was a broken play or the design. They do a lot of this crossing action and cross-buck cross -buck action. Wasey Barrington, the linebacker for King City on the tackle. Barrington will be the fullback for the Mustangs on offense, too. Barrington, quite a load to contend with. Is King City second down. And Give him eight to go. Yeah, good enough. Is it in motion? Did they, did they give it to 17? That would be Camacho with the ball. Stefan Camacho. Stephen Camacho. Let's see. Gets across the 50 in to King City territory. Down to the 40. Let's call it right at the 47 yard line. Third down. Call it four for the Bruins. And again, they're probably in two down territory. I mean, third down yeah. is nothing. Yeah. It's a, to go for it on their own 30. And the center again. And that's well. Gives off to his yeah, half Pull back. back. Kind of a first man through there. Get the, the five. five. That would be Guillermo Gonzalez with the carry. And they're giving him a first down. First down on the play. Mark the ball at the 44-yard line of King City. Greenfield with a great drive. Picked up, it has taken four minutes so far. Started at their own 25. And here they are. Nine First players down. so far in this guy. Short pitch. Got the ball over to number 17, which is Camacho. Nice little uh, move by Camacho to get some extra yardage. Steven Camacho. See how many yards he picked up on that one. Oh, seven yard pickup for Camacho. Soledad, very, very fortunate. He's doing very well this first game. Greenfield. Greenfield. Oh, excuse me, free throw. We were, we saw solid at last week. So Thank you. Mistake. We passed solid out on the way down. All right, look at it. 75, Daniel Madrid, boy. Daniel Madrid is a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Offensive <laughs> tackle there for me. Yeah. All right, here's the, oh, looks like the ball was loose. Yeah. Quickly picked up by Rudy Amezgua to pick, save it for Greenfield. That'll bring up a third down. Call it four for the Bruins. It's a great opening drive. And they take timeout. 
with the score. Nothing, nothing. 5.55 to go. First quarter. We'll be right back after this. Thanks for calling the GED Pep Talk Center. Jerry Stiller speaking. Your level 7 in your face pep talk. I can keep pushing you. Believe me, I'm good at it. But at some point, you're going to need to start pushing yourself. See, once you've got your GED diploma, you, you'll feel so good about yourself. You tell them. You can't change your past, but you can definitely change your future. That makes me so happy, I'm ready to bust out a dance. Mr. Trejo, can I transfer this guy to you? My gentle technique isn't really working. He needs something a little more... Persuasive. Yes! You listen, and you listen good. Hey, where's my sandwich? Terry? Terry! Take it from me to King DMC. It's a real cool thing to get your GED. Get that diploma! Now hold on and we'll find you three GED classes. Capiche? Whatever motivation you need, we've got a pep talk for you. Get your GED pep talk and find free classes at yourged.org. So, I just moved in with his family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. We're back at King City, John Berlin, along with Dave Kellogg, where no score so far. Six minutes have gone in the first quarter. Still the first possession by Greenfield and a very good ball control drive. They have it really is. down at four. They are at the King City, call it the 42. No, they're inside that 38. 38. Back and pass goes. Oh, Mezqua. He starts running. He's got a little crease. He has the first there down. There you go. Oh, we got a flag, John. Ah, then a flag. And it was from the back judge. So, yeah, most likely holding. Yeah, that hurts. When you're on five, it's those mistakes. It always... Yeah, and that's bite, really bite you in the butt, and you have a hard time recovering from That's exactly what you worry about. Yeah, holding against Greenfield. Pushes him back 10 yards. Takes away that first down by Rudy Amezgla. Well, a good pack. running. Good running by the Bruins. I mean, now, let's see if they're moved back to. Can you tell? Oh, well, they're still inside the uh, King City like 40 yard line. So it's about the 46, yeah. So it will be third down. Oh, only third and 13. That's not too bad. I thought they were pushed back well, further than that. Well, they've done so well at the five. Five and seven yard chunks here. Going for a 13 yard, it might be tougher. Two down territory, though, again, as you yeah. said. Mesqua, back to pass. Oh, he got a heavy straight. rush. Boy, he's down. Sack. Give the sack to number 68 for the Mustangs. 68 is Nava. Abram, Abram Nava, 6 foot 2, 215. Nava's a defensive end. Boy, a big sack. That brings a fourth down, and this drive has stopped for Greenfield. Boy, that's just too bad. Penalty and a sack, and that opening the glimmer of light for the, the Bruins is you know, uh, extinguished. John, he really didn't have any chance at all on that one, did he? he no. He, it was, he was immediately he dropped back and kept dropping back because the pressure was so great. Yeah, he didn't have a chance to even set his feet to throw it away. All right, here's... Greenfield about to, and then boy, almost partially blocked. That was really close. Barely gets it to where the, uh, the, boy, not even to where the first down would be. Barely back to the line of scrimmage. So it looks like uh, Green King City will be taking over at their 42 yard line. First and 10. 5.30 to go first quarter. Big uh, opening drive by Greenfield stalls and then a very uh, weak punt. And King City starts off with great field position. Quarterback Chase Barbary, number 13. We'll have Barrington and Sharif behind him. For 21 or 20, 45. That looks like. Oh, he's off to the races. Sharif with the ball. DeAndre picked up some good yards at first play. Picked up about eight. Got out to the 50. 
Great play by King City, opening their first drive. That was some really crisp blocking, I thought, on the right side of the line. Nice hole from Delante. And two bats behind Barbary. Barbary under center. To the first man through, number 45. Oh, Boy, he, he has some good yardage. That's Barrington. Wasey Barrington, their big fullback. And he just picked up a ton of yards in a first down. He looks like a freight train out there, doesn't it? Yeah, let's see what we get on a Barrington 45. 6'1", 172. I think he's bigger than that. I'm sorry. I would say he's a little bit larger than that. <laughs> All right. Sharif in the fullback. I mean, that running back position. And Barrington's the fullback. Bob Reed gives it to Sharif. Sharif looking for a hole. Boy, nothing there. This time, Reedfield is able to make the stop for no gain. I'll give him a yard on the play. But not bad by the defense for the Greenfield Bruins. They really need to pick it up after having that great offensive drive. And then, boy, losing about 20 yards or so. To get yeah. <laughs> They right brought it all the way back out to the 50. They were down to the 25. They really seem to be on the brink of something there. And then but again, they are the kind of team. You cannot make mistakes when they're in this position. Okay, Barbary in the shotgun. Gives it to his man going around the right side. Number three for Oscar Corbarubius for King City with the, uh, with the rush. Didn't pick up too much. Give him one yard, so it'll be third down and seven for the Mustangs. They are at the 36-yard line of Greenfield. But then along with Dave Kellogg, where King City has just scored on their opening possession, making the score 7 0 over Greenfield. Here is Carlos Martinez ready to kick off for the King City Mustangs. Back deep will be on, on Andrew Sanchez for, for Greenfield. Here's Greenfield with the catch. Oh, the up man picked it up. Let's see who we got. 30. 34, that would be Jorge Rojas with the catch for 
Greenfield, so they start off with pretty good field position. This is going to be an important drive for them, I think. Just oh, to, yes. You know, for that yeah. drive, they have got to capitalize on the positive they had on that last drive. If they put her out now, they're going to be a long, long game. No, we don't want <laughs> for everybody game. involved. No, <laughs> we don't want a long game. No, absolutely not. Rudy Amezwa with Guillermo Gonzalez and Stephen Camacho behind him. Camacho comes out to the uh, slot far left. Looks like Resendez is in the inner slot. And now it's either too much time or a timeout. What do we get? So Greenfield takes its second timeout of the first half with 2.57 to go in the first quarter. It's 7 to nothing, King City. We'll be right back after this. America, welcome home the brave. The brave men and women who serve their country are coming home. Home to their cities and towns. Home to their mountains and valleys. Home to their families and friends. Home to America. Some of these warriors are coming home with wounds you can see, and some with wounds you can't see, like post-traumatic stress disorder. Wounded Warrior Project was created to provide the support these wounded veterans need to ensure their return to America is well-adjusted and successful. But we need your help to ensure that our mission is a success. Help us honor and empower these wounded warriors. Contact us at findwwp.org. America, welcome home the brave. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. All right, we're back at King City, John Berlin, along with Dave Kellogg, where Greenfield just took a timeout trying to mull things over here. They've got a fourth down. First down. Oh, it is a first down <laughs> at the 25-yard 20, line. They're still split out. And a big sweep coming in from uh, Resendez, and Resendez did not get back to the line of scrimmage, so big stop there, big number 50. Eight. That would be Arminta with the stop for King City. Saul Arminta pushed the ball back to the 25 yard loss. So Greenfield will have a second down and 15 to go. 2.37 to go, first quarter. It's 7 0 King City. Rudy Amezqua over center has his ball, goes back there, puts a man in motion, takes it to him, gives it to his up back. Oh, and the ball comes loose. It's still loose. Fumbled by Guillermo Gonzalez. Looked like they were able to pick it up. Yeah, I think the quarterback was able to, to jump on it and save it. Yeah, Amesco was able to, to jump on it and make the uh, keep the ball with Greenfield. But let's see, it's third down and very long, 30-15 for the Bruins. You know, the... They just stripped the ball that time. You're seeing that more in the NFL these days, and I think uh, it's transferring to the uh, high school. Well, I mean, all these kids, you know they watch the NFL. Yeah. I mean, anything, that's why I kind of so A lot like of reaching that, in and pulling out. I don't like all that dancing after a sack and stuff, but yeah. I think that you know, that kind of stuff is really good for them to be like, because the, you know, the partying after a minute. Anyway, here's a little fake by a Mezbuff. Going on the right side. Can he get it to the first down or yeah. to the back to the original line of scrimmage? And he does, but that'll still bring up fourth down and ten for the Bruins. And let's see if, yeah, they're going to punt this time. Ball at their own 25-yard on. They're not going to take a chance and try to go for it here. Well, they sure had the momentum, that first opening drive. They got almost down to the 25-yard line. Before a penalty brought it back, and then a sack <laughs> put the ball back out to the fifth. And they so haven't been able to muster anything since then. Ready to hunt. 
Yeah, so funny. And we're going to find us a way. See if King City is able to know that it's going to let it bounce. And it gets across the 50, so it is into Greenfield territory. Yeah, that's the 45-yard line for King City, first and 10. We give a minute 12 left in the first quarter. It's 7-0 King City. See if Greenfield can pull up some defense. And Barbary and the King City Mustangs. I think the key to start stopping Barbary is to hit him early and not let him get up ahead of steam. King City's 1-1 one one in the league, 0-2 oh for Greenfield. They're coming off the win against Marina, which you kind of expected. They've also beaten Monta Vista Christian earlier this season. Flores goes in motion. Here's the ball given to Barrington, their big pullback. Gets up to the about the 48-yard line. Give him five yards on the carry. Close to the 50-yard line. Second down to five for the Mustangs. Yeah, uh, uh, Bar Chase Barbie also it seems a little bit larger than Rudy and Mezbo. So it seems like King City is <laughs> a little bit larger team. Barbie under center. Barbie. And comes in motion. They didn't give, they didn't give it to the third man through. That has to be Sharif. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Sharif is the third man through. And he gets down close to the first half. Looks like it might be a half a yard short there. You are eagle eyed. John well, I saw it. I saw it when they. I saw it when they marked it. Yeah, well, it's, thanks, to, you know, Doctor Holmes. <laughs> You're gonna sound like our, one of our our shark hunter, coverage. our shark hunter, Doctor Holmes. <laughs> yeah, he's a. Uh, you, know, you, you guys actually wrote an article about him. Seeing a great white under the circle, man. I told him that rate is insurance, you know, shark hunting, but not. No. <laughs> I have a hard time finding an underwriter. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, we're having a measurement to see if King City has a first down, and they are short. This is, I had said, they're about a yard short, maybe six inches. They just came up short on that play. <clears throat> I don't know why the refs had to measure. <laughs> Mustangs in control here. Uh, just 17 seconds left here in the first quarter. It's 7 nothing, and King City has the ball. Boy, I tell you, Greenfield did have the momentum in their first possession. They got all the way down to about the 25 before the holding penalty brought it back. And then a sack, and that was the end of their drive. Okay, here's Greenfield, third and uh, less than a yard. Chase Barbary looking over the defense. You know he's got Barrington and Sharif in the backfield behind him. And he's going to quarterback sneak it. Doesn't look like he had much of a problem. No, he's still going. Wow. Yeah, Barbary with a nice first down. And King City keeps the drive alive with the 40 of Greenfield. That should end the first quarter with the score. King City 7, Greenfield nothing. We'll be back with the second quarter right after this. Tell him that I've begun to dream of things, of things to come, and tell the trees not to look for me. I'm going to find some peace of mind. Wake the sun. Sun. Wake the sun, wake the sun, wake the sun. <laughs> Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner okay. soon.
You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. All right, we're back in King City. John Berlin along with David Kellogg for King City as a first down. Ball in Greenfield territory at the 40-yard line. 7 nothing. Mustangs with a with a good touchdown pass to, to Barrington. Wacy Barrington. Looks like Lacey, but with a W. So here's a Harvey. Hands off to the end of round, man, and he he never did oh. was able to go laterally. He just still kept going to the right. Um, so on the end of round. No gain. Good defense for Greenfield. Oriano. Second down and 10 for King City at the 40 yard line of Greenfield. Chase Barbary. See if he goes in the shotgun this time. Well, he's under center. No, he's in, he is in the shotgun. You couldn't tell there. He's in the shotgun. There he goes. He hands it off. Which was up, man. And that was Barrington. Let's see if they got now they picked up a couple yards, not the first down though. But big third down and nine for King City. Ball at the thirty six yard line. Well check that thirty nine yard line of of Greenfield. See what Barbary does. He's this time he's in the shotgun. Has Barrington behind him. It's kind of a different shotgun from what we've seen. Well, he's got a lot of sets, man. Moving around, but he's back to pass. Has the ball over the middle. Has his man. Boy, yeah, picks up some good yardage. Number 88 on the play. And that's uh, Dominic Rose with the, with the catch and carry. Boy, a nice play by Rose. Wide open and just lumbered with the ball once he got it. Very nice look. Moving all the way down here to the 22-yard line of Greenfield, King City, first and 10. What do you think about uh, players that wear number 13? Do they think it's lucky? They think they're, they think they're Dan Marino. <laughs> you know, in high school, our high school quarterback wore 13. Uh -huh. And his brother wore it the year before. Yeah, here goes Barbary, quarterback keeper, going around the right tackle. Ouch. Got a late hit in there. Kind of reason you don't want the quarterback running the ball, but nothing to create a penalty flag. Picked up about five on the play, second down of five. Inside the 20 yard line at the 16 of Greenfield. The King City driving well on this possession. Just the start of the second quarter here in King City. Big full moon out. Matt Millen way by the King City coach talked about just executing fundamentals in this game. Yeah, so that's why they have it. Shotgun, big give to Barrington. Boy, stop there by Greenfield. First guy in there. Number 52, that's David Vega. I got David Vega on the stop. i got to figure that Barrington's going to wear them down. Kick, bringing that big guy down has got to be painful. <laughs> Third down and call, call it four. For King City, call it the 14-yard line of Greenfield. Barbary goes under center this time. Has Barrington and Sharif behind him in the eye. Ends on either side. Comes a blitz. Got some, got some pressure coming. They're giving it to Sharif. Sharif did not get past the first line of scrimmage. The first wave got him. You know, they brought a lot of pressure right up the gut there, and King City ran right into it. Jacob Morris with the stop. Fourth down for King City. Call fourth and four. Ball at the 15-yard line, and they're going to go for it. You know, oh, oh, actually, they're looking over the coach, and they're going to take a timeout. So, with nine minutes to go here in the second quarter, score King City 7 Greenfield, nothing. We'll be right back after this.
it's harder whenever there's a bigger group. Pretty much a good day for me would be people leaving their hands off of me. I'm always called names. Um, everywhere that I go, there's always someone um, calling me names, calling me gay. I've been choked, um, thrown up against a wall, punched. Nobody's ever tried to help me. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. Fourth down for the King City Mustangs. They are at Greenfield's 15-yard line. They've got fourth and four, and King City is going for it. They have a their quarterback, Chase Barbie. Under, he's in the shotgun. He's got three backs around him, and he fakes it to Barrington. He comes around the left side. He's got some defense coming out. He's got about one guy. Gets by the next guy, and he gets down. For the first down, inside the 10, first down for King City. Wow, it wasn't like he had a lot of speed there. He just uh, was adroit. He was very adroit, wasn't he? He used his blocking well. Yes, he did. <laughs> and a first down for King City at the Greenfield five-yard line. Interesting pop. You know, for yeah, very interesting. Yeah. With all those backs he had around him, you think that one of the other ones would have got, he would have received the ball. But, uh, it's like this diamond formation. Really yeah. I haven't seen it this year. All right, here's Barrington. He's a deep back. Well, actually, yeah, they give it to the up back. It's not Barrington. It's number 42. And, of course, we don't have, we don't have him on my roster. So. <laughs> he shall review the main name. Yeah, he didn't get anything any yards. Oh, yeah. so. Pop to listen to the public address when he next carries it again. <laughs> they didn't have as many either. So <laughs> second down and goal from the five for the Mustangs from King City. They lead seven nothing here in the second quarter. Seven minutes to go. Mustangs are knocking on the door. Here's Arbery under center. Two back behind him in the eye. Hands it off to Barrington. Barrington gets across the five. Still does not get much further. Get him down to the three-yard line, maybe. Maybe the, oh, not going to mark it at the four. So that brings up a third down and goal from the four. For the, uh, for the uh, Mustang. Greenfield's been bringing that pressure up the middle. So he might get that naked bootleg again. Well, we're still in, in two-down territory. At any rate, you are correct. Don't you think? They, 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 would, they might kick a field goal, but I don't know. Okay, that's the diamond formation. I see diamond, yeah. They surround the quarterback. There's Barber. Boy, he had a tough time Same getting that ball. Play. They're going to get him. Yeah. He could not pick up the ball. Bad, uh, tough snap to pick up, and it just gave him that moment of hesitation that allowed the defense to get in there and make the stop. So big fourth down coming up for King City. Can Greenfield... Step up the defense and make a stop here. They trail 7-0. It's so critical for them. They want to get this first win of the season. Well, you know, the other thing is I think the Greenfield was ready for that play. Mm -hmm. After that, after getting burned on fourth down there, it was a case of fooled me once. All right. We've got Barrington in the backfield with Barbary. The quarterback's in shotgun position. But he's got three ends out wide left. He has the ball on the ground on the snap. Boy, he's going to get wrapped up and sacked at the 10-yard line. That's a turnover on uh, downs. Give all kinds of credit to Greenfield on that Indeed. defensive stand. What a stop. And they take over on downs at the uh, their own 10-yard.
They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, I am what I've always wanted to be. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> But when you're willing to do anything, it is I, Cruz, Zinc or Pell. Okay, time for cake. It's always worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. What about? Give him about three yards on the carry. Put the ball at the 13. What a big, big stop by the Greenfield Bruins. Great defense. Yeah, those are the little things you want to build, build yeah. on. How to score. All right. Really a nice play. Hands off the first match here. And we've got the winner of some. Stephen Camacho with the carry. Picked up a few. Still makes them third and four for the first down. So let's see what they do. Again, to see if they keep the ball with Rudy Amezqua, the quarterback, who's been keep doing these, uh, doing these def- you know, when they needed the yards, they've been letting him keep the ball. So let's see what they do. He's under center. He only has one completion and one throw. Two backs behind him. And that's going to cause a penalty as there's an offside. Yep. Now offside would be against who? Against King City? Yep. It so sure is, and that down. just might give them, give Greenfield that first down, and it, it does. does. Indeed. Ooh, get him across the 20 to the 22 and a first down for the Bruins. Greenfield. Still only down 7 nothing here. Is There's four minutes. World 5 to go here in the second quarter. Center, here we go. Hand it off to the... That's Guillermo Gonzalez. Gonzalez bangs in there for about four yards. A oh, little uh, yellow hanky comes out. There is a penalty. Dead ball. Wait. Is that against a hold? Holding. holding against Greenfield. That's the mistake to kill them. Right? And that's, again, you're absolutely right. They got a holding penalty that, that stopped their, their opening drive, and then they got a sack, and that's where they, they don't have any points. But they were down near the 25. And here they have a little King bit City. of momentum after getting the first down on the penalty. Push back to the 14. Again, a big holding penalty. Pushes Greenfield back to the 14-yard line. That'll make it first down and 15. Make it 16. Greenfield has a hard time for with the these. Bruins. Long yard and mm-hmm. short it it off. See who he gave it to. Boy, a lot of confusion on that offense as far as who gets the ball. Ended up with Guillermo Gonzalez. Didn't get much. Give him a yard, maybe two. Second down and call it 14. Ball at the 17 yard line of Greenfield. 7 nothing here. Again, 324 to go here in the first half. Second down and long for Greenfield. Mezcua under center. Back to pass. Well, no, he's not going to pass. He got sacked. He didn't even get a chance to plant his feet before number 68, Nava, was in there. Abram Nava makes a stop for King City. Boy, drops him way back. Now he's going to be put her down and over 20 yards to go. Make it 24 to go. Ball's at the 11-yard line. I'll make it the 10. 
It's the second sack of the night for King City. Yeah, those sacks and the you know a sack and, and, a, and a penalty and right in a row, and that's pattern. what has killed this uh, drive for for Greenfield. So we know what they have to correct at halftime. All right, back to pass. Why is he get another big rush? Screen pass. Screen and it's not going to. They saw that coming. Luckily, number twenty did not catch that ball. Jesus Resendez was looking for it, but boy, that would have been that would have been a mistake. So. They were like three defenders. We got a fourth down for Greenfield. See if they can't cut this ball far enough away so King City can't score because there's only 2.35 to go here in the first half. Back to front is Greenfield. No one back for King City. Resendez, oh boy, he dropped the ball, Ooh. but he luckily got it away, but not much of a kick. They got, a, got a good roll. Greenfield roll, get it out across the 30 to the 35 of Greenfield. But boy, King City starts off with excellent field position. Big rush by the King City, but lucky, <laughs> Greenfield's lucky it wasn't blocked. That yeah, was as close right. as it gets. So let's see if the uh, Greenfield defense can do it again. They've been forced to try to keep this game in the... Uh, in hand for the Greenfield offense as they Greenfield offense does well and then they fundamentally do some mistakes which are right. Get up the penalty ball. and so, the sacks. Penalty and the sack. Just in that order. So here we go. We've got Chase Barbary behind Diving center. Pass. Oh diving try that pass out there and let's see they call it good. Looks like it. Pass complete to eighty four. And 84, Jared Davis, 6'1", 190. He's a sophomore for King City. Big first down for the Mustangs at the 24-yard line. He threw nice that pass ball well, by Chase he? Yeah. Harvey. Go ahead. Yeah, he did throw that ball well. He really uh, cranked it up. That's the best I've seen him throw tonight. Yeah, he looks like he has a good arm there. He's in the, in the shotgun. Has Barrington back there. Barrington going out to on the route, but boy, here's a nice long pass out, out, and it's oh. almost intercepted. A good defense by Sharif to block it down. Yeah, Sharif so did that, a great job of leaping over the guy's shoulder. Yeah, Amequa, Amequa, the quarterback was a, was a safety back there that he leaped over the uh, shoulder of. <laughs> uh -huh. Number one. So nice play by the offensive player to keep the <laughs> ball from being intercepted. Mm -hmm. Nice defensive play. By the by second the down and ten. For the Mustangs. Ball at the 25 yard line of Greenfield. In the shotgun is Barbary. No, and got one back is Gregson with him. And we got a flag pass over here, flag on the play. Pass over here to 23. Nice little move. See if we can Down kick five, him up. But we're coming back, I think. Joey Samora with the catch. Lamora, 5'10", 165, is a senior for King City, but the flag, let's see, oh, they're going to wave it off. I was looking for the holding, the, you know, reciprocal here. But, well, no, was, they wave it off. It was right at the snap, so it's something that was like an illegal formation. So they get the first down on the pass play. So let's see where they put the ball. Minute 27 to go here, and then they mark it at the six-yard line. So it's first to go up in the six for King City. Chase Barbary and his team running up to the line. They had a long way to go from the huddle. <laughs> yeah, they realized that the ball was way up the field after the penalty. So Barbary under center. Two back behind him. He's back to pass. He's going over to the right side. Puts the ball in the air. Has a man oh. open. Incomplete. Had his man, 84 Davis. Jared Davis was out there. But incomplete. Overthrew him. And Brings I touched down written down. all over it, didn't it? Second down for King City. Used up a couple seconds. It's down to a minute two to go here in the first half. See if Greenfield can dodge another bullet. They trail seven to nothing here. As time is getting short in the first half. All right. Chase Barbary. <laughs> in that diamond formation. 
But now they close it up and open it up. Yeah. back up. Okay, Farby oh, back to pass. Pass. Looking for the screen. You're trying to get it over to, to Barrington, obviously, but boy, they sniffed that one out and it falls incomplete. So that pass fell a little short, so it stops the clock with 56 seconds left. Pick that 59. Left to go in the first half, but that'll bring a third down for the Mustangs. Again, the ball sets six of Pico. The Bruins. Well, haven't been in business that long, Green Building, but Soledad, New York right. State, they were the two New York schools around 2000. Barbary in the shotgun. Back to pass, looking. Puts the ball in the air, and he's picked up his. He's picked up the big guy, 88. That's Dominic Rose. Six-yard touchdown pass from Chase Barbary to Dominic Rose. Under a minute left in the first half. And the King City Mustangs go ahead 13 to nothing. Uh, Just a couple of ticks under a minute. A seven-play drive. It took them to cover 35 yards. Which is good. So, with a minute, well, under 51.5 seconds. 51, 51 minutes, seconds and point nine. All right. The score, King City 14, Greenfield nothing. We'll go right back after this. But it wouldn't be safe to keep your distance until the oh, secret to make you smile. Why the sources say that chicken mm. soup has proved it's found their way out of this to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. Listen, you are extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm going to have to block you. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked, too. All right, we're back. And there's, we've, got a, we've got a monitor. All right. Where? King City has just scored, and here goes the kick. After the touchdown for King City. Martinez lets it go and it's picked up by Resendez of Greenfield and he was brought down. Got, got a good run back, but a good hit there by King City. But nice field position for Greenfield to start this drive at the 35. Not much time to do it in though, Dave. They've got 44 seconds to try to get this ball in the end zone. So, Rudy Amezqua is going to really have to put the ball in the air to, to get that far. Get and 65 they yards. had much success throwing the ball downfield for him. 65 yards he's got to get in 43 seconds. First play. Boy, got some good yardage. Give it to Steven Camacho on the play. Almost a first down. Yeah, it just marked it down, so they didn't get, oh yeah, they did get the first down, but they're letting him play without setting the chains. So now they can play, so now they throw the ball down to stop the clock. A good play by King, uh, Greenfield to get the, get the team up to the line and get that, as soon as they set the chains, they were able to stop the clock on downing the ball. Rudy Amezqua brings his team up. Bruins looking to get on the board here in the last minute. 
There's a handoff to the oh. deep back. Boy, he's, he's hit, hit pretty hard. Fifty-one. And that was Stephen Camacho with the carry. Sounds like Isaac Perez with the stop for King City, and a nice stop it was. That's number 51 for the King City defense. Again, under center. They give it to this. No, he keeps it. He's still got the ball. And he got nice tackle there. Just a one-person tackled out there, number 84. And that is Jared Davis. And the time runs out as King uh, as Greenfield does not stop the clock. So, with the score, King City 14, Greenfield nothing. It's halftime. We'll be back with the start of the second half in a little bit. When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified, not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who do something, the people who take action, are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making Home Affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. All right, we're back. <laughs> Ready for the second half. John Berlin along with Dave Kellogg with the score. King City 14, Greenfield nothing. Greenfield will be kicking off to King City to start the second half. Oh, they need a stop here. They need to stop them. Well, it's only Stop 14 that momentum. Nothing. Yes. So, hey, want some quick stats, and I'll do them as quick as I can. No, let's do it. Let's hold on a second. All right, we can oh, my spice it. warmed up. We can so spice them throughout. We're just gonna have the kickoff, Prince. and we've got DeAndre Sharif deep for King City. King City, which has 55 yards rushing. Say what? King sure. City has got 55 yards rushing. In the Total? Shot. Yes. Oh. Total offense. Hundred. Uh, 102 yards so total offense. Passing. They got almost 50 yards passing too. Mm -hmm. 3 of 7 passing, 47 yards. 47. I got all that in before the kickoff, and it looks like an onside kick. So it looks like Greenfield is setting up for something. Kicker Jesus Resendez, number 20. And now it looks like they're not. Oh, well, they're kicking off. Kicking off all the way to Sharifi. Passing down. Nice pickup. Gets away from one man at the 15, gets across the 20. He's got a little clearance. And he get, can't get by the last man. Good tackle there by the kicker. <laughs> that was uh, Jesus Resendez, the kicker, who made the stop. And you probably hate was it when the your last kicker. Man. You hate it when your kicker has to make the tackle. Well, he probably was the last man there, so good yeah. stop by the kicker, Resendez. And... First and ten for King City. Now Sharif had 12 yards rushing in the first half on four carries. So That's there's three yards per carry. <laughs> All right, Barbary under center. That's He's that got Barrington and 23 in the back. That will get him in a second. I mean, uh, Barbary back to pass almost. It was way short, but it could have been picked. 23 in the back field. Zoe, Joey Zamora in the backfield with him, along with Wacy Barrington. Pass balls incomplete, so second down and 10. <clears throat> Ball at the 48 yard line of King City. So here are the Mustangs. Barbary under center this time. 
has Barrington behind him. He gives it to him. Going over the left guard. Spun around. He's finally brought down there. Good, good tackle by number 52, David Vega for Greenfield. Barrington had 21 yards rushing in the first half on five carries. Of course, he had that big touchdown catch. Which on the That's 4.2 yards per carry. <laughs> You are the master mathematician. There we go. Coach Berlin, human calculator. Third down, call it six. Harbury under center. Boy, he's got his Mustangs changing places. They're setting up all over the place. And now we're going to have to play a game. Take a timeout. Timeout King City with the score. King City 14, Greenfield nothing. Ten minutes and 57 seconds left in the first half, third quarter. We'll be right back after this. All right, I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay, so who's gonna do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect, that's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. All right, give me a spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. All right, we're back at King City. John Berlin along with Dave Kellogg. Big third down. For King City, third, call it seven. Barbary under center. Gives it to Barrington. Barrington, oh, he got picked up right away at the line of scrimmage. Good stop there for Greenfield. Number seven, Andrew Sanchez. Number 40, and that is our man not on the roster, David Ayala, with the stop for Greenfield. It should bring up a fourth down, and it does. Fourth four. down, call it four. Ball is at the Greenfield 44-yard line, so King City is in other, the other field's turf, but they're in that diamond shape there, Dave. Mm -hmm. Diamond formation. A success so with that in the first half. Little shotgun for left. Barbary, boy, he's back to pass. Put the ball in the air, way overthrow. Looks like Sharif was the intended receiver. And that'll turn the ball over on downs to Greenfield. So, good stop. It's still only 14 to nothing, and Greenfield has a chance to get on the boards. So, do the change of momentum a little bit here. I think they would use up more than 10 min I mean, two minutes on that drive. There's 10 10 left in the third quarter. I guess the ball was stopped. I guess a couple of you know, incomplete passes. Keeps the ball on the, you know, the clock <clears throat> from not running. Okay, Rudy Mezqua. Under center, has his two backs behind him. Gonzalez and Camacho, he's got the ball. He's looking, looking, puts the ball in the air. Has a man. Pass number seven. It is Andrew Sanchez with the catch. And Sanchez gets across the 50 down into King City territory at the 30-yard line. Big play by Sanchez and a nice pass by Amezgua. 27-yard pass. Yeah, it's only his play. second completion of the night. Big, big completion for Amezgua. He was one of two in the first half for five yards. So, mark the ball at the 30. We're down in King City territory. Boy, the pull the ball over here. Coming around the left side. Picked up there by Steven Camacho. Nice play. Picked up a good eight yards on the play. So, boy, King, uh, Greenfield really moving the ball. 
Remember, this is where they got in trouble before with a holding penalty and then the sack. Okay, well, let's so. see what happens. See if they can play error-free and get in the end zone. There's lots of time. They don't have to worry about that. Second down and only two. They can actually afford to waste the play. Camacho had 30 yards in the first half on five carries. That's, that's the first half. Six yards a carry for Camacho. That's very good. <laughs> averaging more than anybody. All right, first man through got the ball. Trying to get that first down. Looks like it came up just a little short. We'll see if they, how they mark it. Yeah. So Guillermo Gonzalez carried the ball. Yeah, they're, boy, that's going to be close. Yeah, where the official right is putting it down. It's right on. That official gives him the first down. So right at the 20-yard line, Greenfield has a first down in King City's red zone. Yeah, Greenfield trailing 14 to nothing. Wants to get on the board. Make this game exciting. They only had 39 yards of total offense in the first half. Yeah, that's cool. In the center. Hands off to his running back. It looks like it must be Gonzalez with the ball. It is. But Gonzalez picked up a good three yards on the play, so not bad. Into the Down to the 17-yard line. So it's a little trap of, action. They're trying to see, pop something. Can do. Coach Prada, see if they can't not make a mistake. Get the ball in the end zone. Did not. not. And now okay. they're going to call timeout and make sure they don't make mistakes. So timeout go. on the field, 9.52 to go here in the third quarter. It's 14 to nothing. King City over Greenfield. We'll be right back after this. Thank you for calling your GED pep talk center. All right, now are you ready for your GED pep talk? Being nervous is okay. It just shows that you're serious about getting your diploma. All right, listen, we all need a little nudge sometimes. I don't function without coffee in the morning, but it is going to take more than a double mochaccino to help you here. A lot of things are scary. Heck, I'm scared of clowns. No quiero oír. Danny, no lo puedo hacer. Quiero oír. Danny, lo voy a hacer. DMC, liking your pep talk style. Just keeping it real, Deb. Just keeping it real. <laughs> Look! Whatever motivation you need, we've got a pep talk for you. Get your GED pep talk and find free classes at yourged.org. back King City second down for Greenfield at the King City at the 17, 17 yard line big play here boy they give it to oh, like Camacho right through the middle Camacho Steven Camacho right, 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 right up the middle for a first down and down inside the five yard line down to almost a two that's a beautiful job of blocking by his front line there. got him a hole but there's an instant replay for you Nice Hard play by Camacho to get that first down and get inside the five-yard line. That's the longest run they've had of the night. Well, he had to tie his shoe. Camacho not quite ready for this play, but he's in the he's in the three-point stance, and they give it to him anyway, and he's in it the is, end zone. Touchdown, yeah. Greenfield. He's had a three-yard carry for the two-yard carry two, for, for Greenfield to get on the board. What a big play. And Steven Camacho does the job for the Bruins. I think his offensive line really deserves some credit there, too. 9.26 to go in the third. And Camacho ran it in. What was that, from the sixth? Two. Camacho, two, the two, or, the two. two right. yards on. Going to the point after with Resendez. Snaps down. Kick is up. High enough. Long enough. And it's good. With 9.26 to go here in the third quarter, it is King City 14 on Greenfield 7. We'll be right back after this.
So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that! That's disgusting! Oh, poop already! You're making me nervous! Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. We're back in King City, John Berlin, along with Dave Kellogg, where Greenfield has just got on the board. 9.26 here left in the third quarter, and it's now 14-7. to 7. What was Greenfield it? trails by seven. 57-yard drive and six plays. 57-yard drive, six plays. Yeah, that big 27-yard nice pass, a big play, obviously. Camacho, the 15-yard run. And second down, getting it down to the two, and then he finished things off. All right, here's Greenfield. Going to kick it off, a little pooch kick, trying to get it to drop in. Nice catch by the Mustang. That's 44 with the catch. And that's Kendricks Perez for King City to down the ball and keep it safe. So the Mustangs take over first and 10 with a 14 to 7 lead. See where they mark the ball. They have a pretty good field position. Looks right at the 50. And at the 48 yard line. Boy, good field position to start this possession. Barbary has Barrington off to the right in the slot. He's out all by himself on the shotgun. Three and out. He's going to pass. Well, he's got a man. Oh, bad snap. Ball's loose. But there's a whistle on the play. Officials are calling the play dead for some reason. Illegal procedure against King City. And that'll knock him back five yards. 14 to 7. Greenfield just cut that deficit in half. Now they got a big break and a bad snap. Moves King City back to first and 15. Check that. Second and 15. Well, still first and 10. What am I thinking? So, first and 15 for, for the Mustangs. R3 in the shotgun. Has his man in motion. Takes it to him. Boy. Barbary just <laughs> had been waiting for him. Not much there, so a good stopper. Daniel Madrid. Steven Cruz also on the stop for, for Greenfield. Here we go. Second and long. We'll get 17 to go for the Mustangs. Off the ball at the 41 yard line of King City. Here we go. Barbary with the shotgun. Looking for someone to pass to. Coming in the air, has his man. Nice catch there. Number 88, that's Dominic Rose with the catch. Rose caught a touchdown in the first half, right? Yep, the man caught a touchdown with a nice catch there. A little short of the first down, though. He's in three yards short, third down. But put the ball in Greenfield territory at the 43, looks like. Right. 40, 44, okay. So here we go. Big third down play. Let's see if Greenfield can stop it. See if King City can make that first down. He's running up to that line of scrimmage. Here comes Barbary. He's got Barrington and the deep back. We'll get him in the second 23. And he has the ball. Going to the left side. Making, oh, caught oh. from behind. A good play. But that is that 23. That is uh, Joey Zamara with the carry for King City. He was following big number 73 there. Sanchez with a big, big but, stop. But Zemma had a huge block for him. He just grabbed Led Zemma's uh, belt and uh, carried him around the corner. We got fourth down. Launched the ball at the 42, 44-yard line, fourth and two for King City. Here he is, 
Arbery under center. Has his two backs in the eye. Fourth down and two. Give it to the back man who came through. Nice play by Zamara. Joey Zamara playing in the running back position for Sharif. Got the first down. Inside the 40 down to the, about the 37 yard line. First down for King City. 5.57 to go here in the third. It's 14-7. King City hanging on to a seven point lead. Barbary under center again. Barrington and Zamora in the back field with him. Gives it to Barrington. Barrington left side. Fights through for some yards. Not much. Give him three or four. We see Barrington, but they're big running back. So mark the ball at about the 30. Five yard line of Greenfield. King City driving here. Second down at five for the Mustangs. Here's Barbary again under center this time. It's a man in motion to the right. Gives it to him. This time it is a big, big block there. Back number 21, Sharif. DeAndre Sharif goes around the right side. We had a big crackback block. No also kidding. Only, ooh, and we got an injured player too. And then Sharif is hurt. Sharif is hurt on the right sideline. Looks like he cramps up. Yeah. So it's a first down for King City, but it comes with a cost. Is DeAndre Sharif is uh, over on the sidelines. Yeah, it looks like he's cramping up over there. What would you say they are? 22 yard line. 22. There's time out on the field with the score. King City 14, Greenfield 7, 4.55 to go on the third. We'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm Cheryl Crow, and I'm a musician and a mother. And this is Buttercup. She's also a mother, but not by choice. She's a survivor of a puppy mill. Mother dogs like Buttercup suffer their entire lives in puppy mills, producing nearly 100% of the dogs sold in pet stores and on the internet. Buttercup's nightmare end of the day Animal Rescue Corps saved her life. But for the millions of dogs suffering in the estimated 15,000 puppy mills across the United States, this nightmare continues. Animal Rescue Corps and I ask you to visit your local shelter or rescue when choosing your next animal companion. You will not only be saving a life, you will be helping put an end to this cruel industry. Please go to AnimalRescueCorps.org to learn more about ending puppy mills. Buttercup and I thank you. Wow. These are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. All right, here we go. Live in King City, I don't know, taped in King City. That's I'm right. running along with Dave right. Kellogg. We are here in the third quarter, 4.55 to go. It is first and 10 for the King City Mustangs at the Greenfield 22 yard line. <clears throat> it's kind of that chance to take the wind out of our sails after uh, Greenfield come back and made it a ball game again. Yeah, we really have taken a, a nice long drive here. Let the uh, Greenfield sit on their uh, heels for a little bit. All right, under center, here's Barbie, and there's a whistle by the official. This will be the ninth. And there's another timeout on the field called by King City. So with uh, 4.55 to go here in the third, it's 14-7 to 7 King City. We'll be right back after this. I've got a job to do today. I've got a job to do today. No 
Don't forget, you've got a job to do today. Hey, Mom. I got the job. <laughs> Thanks. Got the job. Welcome aboard. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in your community. Feels good to start fresh, right? Sure does. And like that, you're a job creator. <laughs> mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner oh. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. All right, we're back at King City, where it is first and 10 for the Mustangs at the 22-yard line of Greenfield. Here is a Ramirez. Ramirez on the run to the left side. That is 23, Joey Ramirez. Zamora, excuse me. Let's see how far he got. Looks like he picked up a first down for it's like about 12 yards. He's got uh, 19, 19 yards on three carries. Yeah, Zamora's yeah, so come in and really played well. Of course, Sharif just got hurt. Here's a quick pitch and a quick give to Barrington. Stopped by Greenfield as they're inside the 10 yard line. Sanchez with the stop, but here it brings up second down for King City at about the eight yard line. This is a tenth play of the drive. Long line of drive. This is a good drive for King well, they City. They started on the 48. So it's not All right, here's Barbary on the center. Looking over the defense. Yeah, to the second man, the ball's loose. Oh. Ball's on the ground, picked up by King City. Just missed that handoff. Yeah, and just missed it was uh, Greenfield, almost got it. Nice pick up there by Martinez. Carlos Martinez with the pick up for the Mustangs. Bring up the third down. Call it nine yards to go. Ball's on the nine yard line of Greenfield. And you can still see the, the pink from the. Uh, Breast cancer awareness all over the field. They still they must hand out like gear. You know, they must come with yeah. a bunch of gear to put the kids to play. Need to wear. All right, here's the pick to Zamora. Pass over to the right side and over throws his intended receiver. That was Oscar Corbarubius. Incomplete. So Bring up a fourth down for King goal. City. What do you think? Well, their kicker would be number 50. He's already in the game, so if they do, they don't have to change too many men. But no, Barbary's come in with the play. So it's going to be fourth down and goal. Call it from the nine-yard line. All right, all the marbles on this play for King City. Barbary in the shotgun. Back to pass. Puts the ball in the air. Uh, it was almost it said like it was trapped and it was incomplete. <laughs> it should fall a good place, so it should be a turnover on downs and give Greenfield the ball first and ten. That's another big stop for their defense. They've had at least three big stops here. It's a huge stop for Greenfield. Just Stopping King City here with three minutes to go in the third quarter. Keeps the score at fourteen to seven. There is the Yeah, it was intercepted. So it looked like he got it right at the end zone. He was down at the end zone when he caught it, though. That's the problem. <laughs> he he should have just patted it down. <laughs> yeah. So there it is at the one-yard line for Greenfield to kick it 99 and a half yards. <laughs> you know, 99 and a half. Oh, okay. Just won't oh, do. Okay. All right, here are the uh, Bruins. Got uh, Rudy Amezcua. 
Now the center has got his two backs behind him. Let's see if he can get out of the end zone. Puts a man in motion. And does a little quarterback keeper and <laughs> barely gets out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little quarterback draw, kind of waited a little bit too long, almost didn't get out. Well, they put me in at the gate at the yard and a half, yard line. <laughs> what was the first turnover for Kansas City tonight? Well, it was I a think first down, a, too. I think you know, it's the first turnover. Interception, but period. Yeah, I don't think that. Uh, yeah, it is the first turnover. Besides the fourth, you know, went down. So here is Rudy Amezboa with a play from from the coaches. So it's been a clean football game as far as turnovers. Well, yeah, they have it. That I mean, it's just the penalties and then the, uh, well, and the penalties sacks. And sacks. Penalty sack. That's all that was happened to Greenfield in succession. And then, in this field position. Here we go. Uh, Mezpoit gives the ball to his center. I mean, to his uh, fullback. And he gets out to about the three-yard line. So you can see King City just stacked in the middle of it, trying to stuff him. Keep Greenfield from getting any kind of breathing room from that shadow of the goalpost. <laughs> out to the three-yard line. Third down. Call it about six. Thirty-nine. But they're at the one, so it's about third about six or seven. So here we go. You might be right. Still a long way to go for third down for a long way for Greenfield. It's going to be a tough play for Rudy Amezboy to pull this one off. He, yeah, see, he's got the ball. He's in the end zone. Oh, they put the ball over to the oh, incomplete. So it'll be fourth down, and boy, uh, you know they have not been punting well tonight. Greenfield so, uh, have to punt. I was going to say they have not been punting well. They've had two near blocks. They could be in a little trouble here. A minute 57 to go here in the third quarter as Greenfield will be punting from his end zone. On fourth down, drop those interceptions, boys. Resendez will be doing the punting for Greenfield. There's a snap, and he's running he's the ball. With running it out of the end zone, he's running over to the right side, and he made it. He got the first down. Did he? Did he? Unbelievable. Oh. Yes, he did. First down from the end zone to get out to the 10-yard line for a first down. It's amazing. I think he might be at the 15. Oh, is it at the 15? Well, let's see. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard from our angle to tell what the ball is, but uh, it's past the 10. Uh, about the 13 yard line, we'll say. Uh, they're saying the 12 at the, um, in the stadium stats. All right, we'll go with the stats. Uh, they have a better view than we do. Yeah. They do, because they got to sit in the press box. Mezgua has the ball, still with it. Gets out to the. Oh, and there's a penalty. As a Mezgua is being tackled, let's see what the penalty is. Oh, yeah, face mask. mask. Yeah. There's our. Yeah. We're talking yeah, it over. I think he's grabbing it. Same face mask. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk. There it yep. is. Yep. Face yep. mask against King City. And we're going to see if they march off 5 or 15. Boy, he keeps, he's still going. So it looks like a 15 yard face mask penalty. There he is, lots of room. number five with the ball. Getting through, that is, of course, Gonzalez. Numa Gonzalez picked up a, another first down. First down again for Greenfield. See where they mark the ball. Looks like the 26 or so. Yeah, out to the 26-yard line. First down for Greenfield. Marching down to tie this ball game up. All right, here Hopefully it they is. Looks like they've got to get out of there. Mezgua takes it to one man. He's still got the ball, I think. Gonzalez. Gonzalez. They give it to Gonzalez. Yeah, number five. And not too much for Gonzalez on that foot. 
about four yards. I think. You see, you're watching the monitor. It's too far away for me to pick up, so I'm going to watch the monitor too. I don't have the eagle eyes of John Furlan. <clears throat> Second down and six for Greenfield. Ball at the 30 yard line. And it goes in motion, but they give it to the big. Oh, no, he no, still no, has it. And that's close. Well, around the right side. Didn't get back to the line of scrimmage, if that. Very close. Well, it looks like he picked up. No, he did get back to about the line of scrimmage. So third down and call it about six for Greenfield. Time about to run out in this quarter, and that should do it before they run another play. And that, there it is. There's the clock of the horn. And it's the end of the third quarter with the score. King City 14, Greenfield 7. We'll be back for the fourth quarter right after this. I'm only 17, but I know about investing. Believe in something, buy shares in it, watch it grow. So what if you could invest in the future? The future of kids, like a stock. Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change. A whole new kind of investment called Better Futures. When you invest, it helps kids go to college. I could be one of the first college graduates from my family. The first philanthropist from my neighborhood. And if I'm the first, then maybe there's a second and a third. Believe in us. Invest in us. Watch us grow. My name is Sydney, and I'm your dividend. NFC, AFC, offensive linemen, defensive tackles, quarterbacks, and cornerbacks are all living united to ensure the academic success of millions of kids in our communities all the way to graduation day. But that won't happen without you. So take the pledge at unitedway.org. Make a difference in the life of a child. Suit up like your favorite NFL players and become a volunteer reader, tutor, or mentor with United Way. All right, we're back at King City. John Berlin along with Dave Kellogg, where King City has a 14-7 lead, but the Bruins from Greenfield have a chance here. They have the ball. They've made a great stop of King City at the goal line, and now they have the ball, and they're trying to get down there and tie this game up. Well, they put together a very nice uh, drive, considering they started at about the half of the yard line. And now they're at the 30. So from the half yard line to the 30, third down, call it seven. They finally give it to number 17. That's Camacho. Camacho picks up some good yardage, close to a first down. But a good good tackle in there by the Mustangs. And they're giving it to him. First down for Greenfield. Mark the ball at the 33-yard line. First down. The Bruins driving on this this possession here, Dave. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Sumezgua on the center. This will be the tenth play of the drive. Let's go over there, thirty-three. Let's go over there. Gives the ball. To Gave it to Gonzalez, just up the middle. Simple play for Greenfield. Puts the ball at the forty. Call it the forty-two. Forty-two, forty-three yard line. So second down and call it seven. For Greenfield on the 143 yard line. And that's Kawhi overlooking the defense. He King City brings him in. He give the ball to Resendez. Not much on that play. Actually, he might have lost some yards. He might have got back to the line of scrimmage. So make it third down, called seven for the Bruins. They got to get to the 40 nine-yard line to get a first down. So they've got their work cut out here. Third down. 
It could be a two down territory for them here, Dave. And they did it in the first half, didn't they? Oh, sure. They had no. Uh, on that opening drive, they had a, a fourth down play on the fourth play of the game. Inside their 30, if I recall. Pretty gutsy uh, third down. Pretty gutsy third down call. Here we go. Oh, make it bootleg. Got some room. Good play by Amezgua. Looks like he might have come close for the first down. Let's see where they mark it. Yep, first down for for the Bruins from Green Greenfield. What playing this great great possession here? Mark the ball at the 49 of of Greenfield. First down. Ten minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. It's 14 to seven. Greenfield trails. King City. In the center, here's Amezgua. Amezgua gives the ball to Camacho. Camacho on the straight dive, straight forward. Even Camacho's been one of the workhorses for, for the Bruins. Second down. I call it seven. They're into King City territory. Call it the 47-yard line for... Greenfield. Again, a Mezqua. Time he's under center again. This time he gives it to Camacho. Camacho breaks through that first wave. Good run by Steven Camacho. Get down close to the first down. But boy, flag in the backfield. You know that's going to be a holding, and that's exactly the kind of uh. thing that has killed. Greenfield all game is the, the holding penalty. Yeah. Now they've been on to have a sack, or they'll be almost identical to two times before. It was feeling like they were starting to wear down uh, King City as well. And, and to have that reversal emotionally. Oh, that's just a big call. Pushes them all the way back. Puts them on their side of the 50. So back to about the 43 yard line. Here's the Snap. Oh, Looks like they ran ball. into each other. The ball got loose. Looks like King Scoots. Let's King see City what does the have uh, it. number. Let's see what the call. Yep, it is. It's a picked up by King City on that play. So not a holding, then a fumble. So not even a sack. It's a fumble. So that's even worse. So again, uh, just a, a unfortunate turn of events for Greenfield. They had the momentum, but that holding penalty again. That's the third time that a holding penalty has caused the, the downfall of the drive. On See, the next play, they had two holds, and it's then two, two sacks, sacks, and then the hold and the fumble. Right. Ball. So here's Greenfield. First turnover of the night. Here's the King City in their blues. We'll give it over to Zamora. Zamora going on the left side, getting some nice yardage out of it. Come on down inside the thirty. Good play as King City can now just kind of take the ball as as they wish because they they stopped. Greenfield on their, on their big drive. They could have tied the game. Under nine minutes to go here in the fourth quarter as King City got a first down. Arbery in the center this time. Got a big back behind him. And then he gives it to Barrington. Barrington, not much. Gets a couple yards, not much. Still 14-7. King City over Greenfield. Been a very good game. Uh, I kind of, we kind of expected Greenfield to, I mean, to uh, King City to King City be a little bit further <laughs> away, uh, ahead than this. And Greenfield just playing a whale of a game to keep it this tight. And he actually had a chance to tie it up on that last drive. Really too bad. All right. And that was a drive that started at their own one-yard line. Harbury back to pass. Looking, looking, puts the ball in the air. Away. Oh, a lot of contact. Had a chance, but overthrows Flores. A lot of contact out there. Could have been a pass Jacob, interference. Jacob Flores, a sophomore, but ball sailed over his head. We're sitting next to coaches row here. Where a lot of the, I think, the dads stand. Oh, is that right? And they're able to talk freely about their opinions of 
<laughs> we'll play I'm not center. paying attention. Third down for King City here. As uh, they're in the shotgun. Their analysis may be. Barbary back to pass. Puts the ball in the air. Yeah, as a man, the big tight end. Big tight end, number 88. That is Dominic Rose with the catch. Inside the 10 yard line. There's that instant replay. Nice touch. Gets it over the defenders. And this a big play for Rose. They ran that play with success in the first half as well. Okay, at the seven yard line. First goal for King City. Trying to improve that 14 7 lead. He's on the center for Barbary. Gives it to Barrington. Barrington breaks through that first wave. Still on his feet. Still on his feet. Trying to get in. Touchdown. And he did. Just like that. Wasted. Barring Barrington. Eight yard touchdown run. And seals the deal after that chance for Greenfield. So nice, nice touchdown by Barrington for for King City. Seven, seven thirty-seven to go here in the fourth quarter on that run by Barrington. <clears throat> so at twenty to seven, we're having a little timeout for for the kick. So we'll see what. Oh, I see an injured player. And once they injured player is off the field, they will do the extra point. Wow, that really hurt Greenfield, didn't it? After they had that good drive going, looked like they just might be able to tie it up. Waiting for the snap. There it is. It's a short one down and kick is up. It's high enough, long enough, and it's good. So with 7.37 to go here in the fourth, King City 21 at Greenfield 7, and we'll be right back after this. America's service members and veterans are strong, forged out of bravery, sacrifice, and duty. From all corners of the country, a family for life. But whether they served in lands far away or communities close to home, some of these men and women may face difficult times or even crisis. But sometimes reaching out for help can be the most challenging and worthwhile mission of all. Thankfully, friends, family, and communities are standing by their service members and veterans now more than ever. We're all in this together. When you recognize something isn't right, make the call to the Veterans Crisis Line or Military Crisis Line. During times of crisis, reach out and call. Dial 1-800-273-8255 and press 1. Being a dad can be tough. No, no, no. What do you mean she's not coming? When's the fairy princess coming? Any minute now. <laughs> but when you're willing to do anything... <laughs> it is I, Cruz, Zinc or Pell. Yeah. Okay, time for cake. It's always yeah. worth it. I know it's really you, Drew. I'm just pretending for the other kids. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call 877-4-DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. All right, we're back at King City. John Berlin along with Dave Kellogg where the King City Mustangs have kind of put this game out of reach at 21-7. to Here with 7.37 left in the fourth quarter after a fumble by Greenfield on their drive to try to tie the game up gave king city decent field position and king city just cashed in after that yeah they got the ball at the 42 and then it just took them five plays to pop it in the big one was a pass to rose over the middle for 18 yards which put them up at the seven yard line got a whistle on the kick let's see what the uh let's see what the uh, call is must be offsides offsides on a kickoff Moving back five yards. Moving back five, so they'll be kicking from the 35. 7.36 to go here in the game as King City now with a two point two touchdown lead. 21 to 7. Boy, good game by Greenfield to stay this close. 
actually have a chance to tie it up. It's a couple of mistakes, and that's all it takes. Here we go. Oh, boy, they give the ball to the Mezgua. Mezgua trying to get get in the open, but no, he didn't get it. Get past. He's just past the 30-yard line to the 32-yard line, so first and, down, first and 10 for Greenfield from there. Huh. He waited too long. He turned around and just got to get that ball and run on the kickoff. He can't be trying to hand off. All right, here we go. First and 10 for Greenfield. Amezba hands it off. Gets it to Camacho. Excuse me, that Resendez. Resendez with the carry. Picks up about four on the care on the play. Greenfield trying to get in the end zone, see if they can't catch up. They've got it lots of time, seven minutes to go here. So if they just get down the field, Mezqua sends a man in motion. It's gives it to the up and not much there. It's just such a yards. methodical offense like that. It's just it's not big plays. It's Five, six yards at a shot. Yeah, Stephen Camacho with that, just a couple yards on the play. So, no, they're not a big strike team. And it'd probably be a mistake if they tried, to be honest <laughs> with you. So, they, they, you know, they're just playing with their, under their own abilities. Again, just some costly penalties at, at, the, at key times has been the, the, the difference here. Here's a, another give to Stephen Camacho. As they're uh, trying to get some uh, get some yardage out of this play and make this game, you know, give a, give a chance for an onside kick, you know, if they can get in the end zone. Get a first down, or uh, fourth down, and less than a yard, and uh, it looks like the official is giving them a first down, and that's what he did. He said, oh, "That's close enough for giving them a first down." So at their own 40-yard line, Greenfield still has time to do something here, Dave. Although, you know, King City is pretty, pretty tough. They're, they're a big team playing well. It's going to be hard for Greenfield to find a, you know, a hole, find some place for them to go. Oh, here is a, a oh, Mesco running for his back. life. Puts the ball in the air, just uh, picked off. That was almost expected. Picked off by number five. That's Flores. And Flores has a chance, but he uh, goes out of bounds here. Uh, looks like a big play by King City, but Amezqua was falling backwards on the pass. And I, thought he had guy, I thought he had a guy open deep. He just didn't couldn't get uh, enough muster on him. Right, he was falling backwards. He was off his back foot. And that didn't get far enough. Nice. Interception by Guillermo Gonzalez for King City. So five minutes to go, 5.30 to go here. So no problem for King City from the Greenfield 12. The last two possessions have ended in turnovers for Greenfield. <coughs> here comes the blitz. A second man through. But they're giving it to Zamora. Zamora gets it through the 10 yard line down to about the 8. Second and 5 for King City. Chase Barbary in the center this time. Looks over the defense. Greenfield pitches out. There. Pitches out to. Pretty sure it's Zamora. I'll check that. Number three, Oscar Covarrubias with, <laughs> with the carry, not number 23. Covarrubias, the junior. Boy, he's only 120 pounds. Brings up a uh, third down and half a yard. Second carry of the night. Sounds... Sounds like a timeout on the field. So with 4.43 to go here in the game, it's King City 21, Greenfield 7. We'll be right back after this. 
Thanks for calling the GED Pep Talk Center. Jerry Stiller speaking. You're level seven in your face, Pep Talk. I can keep pushing you. Believe me, I'm good at it. But at some point, you're going to need to start pushing yourself. See, once you've got your GED diploma, you, you'll feel so good about yourself. You tell them. You can't change your past, but you can definitely change your future. That makes me so happy, I'm ready to bust out a dance. Mr. Trejo, can I transfer this guy to you? My gentle technique isn't really working. You need something a little more... Persuasive? Yes! You listen, and you listen good. Hey, where's my sandwich? Terry? Terry! Take it from me to King DMC. It's a real cool thing to get your GED. Get that diploma! Now hold on and we'll find you three GED classes. Whatever motivation you need, we've got a pep talk for you. Get your GED pep talk and find free classes at yourged.org. So there was not a timeout on the field. It was just timeout for a measurement to see how close King City was to the first down. And so they got the first down at the right near the goal line. They're about two yards out. So that'll give them four downs to get in the, in the paper. They already lead 21-7. So we'll be, uh, we'll be we'll giving King City the all kinds. Of, they should be up 28 to, to 7 by the time. He, this next play here. Okay, here's Chase Barbary. He's got his one set back in the backfield. Barrington in motion. So we're going to follow Barrington to Covarrubias. And Covarrubias did not make it. So held up at the two-yard line is Covarrubias. I wonder why the clock is stopped. But there was no reason to stop it at all. <laughs> it's the question. Anyway, so they're at the uh, second down and goal for King City at about the three. Here is a Ball given oh. to Zamora again, and he is not getting in the end zone. And they blow the whistle, and Zamora says, Oh, I got in the end zone, but no. They stop. So they're going to give it third down. Third and goal for King City. Ball at the, about the four yard line. Backs in the eye formation. Behind Barbary. The defense is coming. The ball's loose. It's on the floor, on the carpet. Let's see who's got it. Picked up by King City. Good play by King City. It's picked up by Zamora. Zamora picked up the, uh, picked up the loose ball. This fourth and goal from the five for King City. Three minutes to go in the game. As we uh, have a fourth down and goal for King City. They lead this has been a good, seven. nice goal line stand by Greenfield. That they started at the two here. Now it's fourth down. Stop, solid run stops by Greenfield. Yeah, they have to be impressed. There's, well, there's Barrington. Looks like he might make it. Boy, it's going to be close. And they and held him. It. Big, big stop for Greenfield to stop Barrington from getting in the end zone at the one yard line, so they take over on downs. That's just a moral victory for Greenfield. It's a great play. moral victory for him, I think. They, something to build on for. Yeah, they've had a they've they played a, a very, season. very good game. Just a few mistakes, and that's been the that's been their downfall. They're coming off an emotional loss to Stevenson last week where they had the early lead and Stevenson ran off a big row of points in the second half to win it. Here's a Greenfield right at their goal line. Trying to get out. Give it to Camacho. Funny is a, their kicker. It's a Resendez. Well, the scoring started off with 2.59 to go in the first quarter. King City got a 36-yard pass from Barbie to Barrington. Kick was good. It was 7 nothing. 
Then in the second quarter, at the end, at 59, 51.9 seconds left, a six-yard pass from Barbary to Dominic Rose made the score 14 to nothing at halftime. As well, then Greenfield got on the board with a two-yard run by Camacho with 9.26 to go in the third. It was 14 to seven until, and here's a play by Greenfield getting out of the shadow of the end zone, and then. Greenfield scored with 9.26 to go in the third, making it 14-7 on a two-yard run by Camacho. And then King City put it away with 7.37 to go here in the fourth on a two-yard run by Barrington, making it 21-7, which is where we stand right now with a minute 26 to go. And Greenfield at the four-yard line, third down and seven to go for the uh, Bruins. But a very good game. They just made a couple of mistakes. Two times when they had the first possession, when they had it all the way down to the 25, but a holding penalty brought it back out to the 35, and then a sack stalled the drive. That same occurrence. They had a, the ball deep in Greenfield territory, but another holding penalty brought the ball back, and then they got another sack, which right. stopped the drive. And then the third time, they had the holding penalty that stopped the drive, and then they fumbled the ball instead of getting a sack. So three different times they had these fundamental errors that allowed King the... King City's third touchdown. That, that King City just, and that's the difference in the game. So a very good game for Greenfield. There just a few mistakes that make the difference. Greenfield's ready to punt. Fourth down. They snap it. Light rush. Going to get the kick away. King City has it. Oh, got a hold. There's a penalty on the play, but it's coming back. Gonzalez looks like he got all the way in the end zone, but there is a holding penalty way back there on the 40-yard line. At least a penalty flag. Let's see what the call is. Another one at the 30. Yeah, it is holding against King City. Oh, replay. Well, we don't get to see the blocking the back. Fence, all nice set up. back. Nice block by the special team. Yep. Very nice. But nine seconds remain. Where are we next week? Palmer. Well, I didn't know you were going to be here. Oh, but, that's uh, right. We're supposed to be at Robo Bank, Palmer oh. Alice, but I'm hoping we can <laughs> game it. Yeah. We'll see. Next Thank week, you. back to Robo Bank. I don't know. We'll Friendly see if that's... We will talk about that during the week. <laughs> All right. We've enjoyed our little road trip down to South County, the far end of the Central Coast section. Well, I'm impressed with Greenfield. They really uh, played a much better game than was expected out of them. And here is King City ready to kneel down and take a take the take the snap for the end of the ball game and that's it our final score here king city 27 no it's actually 21 <laughs> greenfield seven i'm john berlin and this has been dave kellogg with me thanks dave thank you john let's uh -huh. get back on the road all right north. so long everybody thank you <laughs>